All right, so we can call this meeting to order now. Is there anything, Justin, that we need to do specifically in terms of reading a, dis, a, a disclaimer or anything about the remote meeting, or are we good to get into our first agenda item? We're good to get into our first agenda item. Thank you very much. All right, so our first meet agenda item is going to be our public comment period. We invite anybody who is present to share with the board for three minutes on items pertaining to the scope of the board or the town administrator. Do we have anybody in attendance who would like to join us for public comment. Mr. Diamond, go right ahead, sir. Thank you, Chair. Hi, good evening. My name is Peter Diamond. I live on Seekonk Street here in Norfolk. I have lived in Norfolk all my life, and I'm here tonight in support of affordable housing. In front of the select board tonight is consideration for removing an article on the spring warrant that was to change our inclusionary zoning bylaw. I petitioned for this inclusionary zoning bylaw we have on the books right now three years ago, and the bylaw passed at Springtown meeting at the King Philip High School football field. The change increased the inclusionary zoning assessment on a developer based on the amount of housing units they built in a development. The inclusionary zoning bylaw on the books right now is one the people of Norfolk voted for three years ago. This year, the planning board proposed an article for the Springtown meeting that was to change the inclusionary zoning bylaw back to what it was three years ago. I demonstrated three years ago how the old inclusionary zoning bylaw did little to create affordable housing that would help Norfolk meet the state requirement that there be 10% affordable housing stock in the town. Prior to the 2020 census, Norfolk's affordable housing stock was a little more than 6%. Now, after the 2020 census, Norfolk's affordable housing stock has dropped to 4.2%, showing that the prior 10% inclusionary zoning bylaw did little to help the town increase its affordable housing stock. One way for Norfolk to justify the current inclusionary zoning bylaw is to have an economic feasibility analysis done. This analysis will show whether it's feasible for a developer to build in Norfolk under our current inclusionary zoning bylaw. In a town where the new house is priced on the market right now at $800,000, there is a desperate need for affordable housing for people of all income levels to live in this town. Once again, I recommend that an economic feasibility analysis be done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Much appreciated. Do we have anybody else who would like to speak for our public comment period this evening? I am seeing none, so we will be moving on to our first action item this evening, which is to reopen the warrant to consider amending the articles. Justin, would you mind giving us some background on this action item? Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, on April 9th, the planning board held a meeting uh, where ultimately they, they voted to, to petition for the select board to remove uh, the uh, inclusionary bylaw. It was as article number 25 in the warrant that we have, um, our current warrant. Um, they voted unanimously to, 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 to ask the select board to remove that article, as well as remove the uh, street acceptance for Ariana, Ariana Lane. Uh, that article is not ready as well. Um, so in the packet, uh, you have a version of the amended warrant by removing those two articles. Uh, this language has been reviewed by town council, uh, particularly uh, uh, the MBTA, MBTA community zoning bylaw as well, which was uh, amended by the planning board as well at that meeting. Um, incorporates feedback from that we have from town council and the attorney general's office. Um, so that's what you have before you and whether the board wants to uh, to uh, to amend the current warrant and remove those two articles and insert the amended MBTA community zoning bylaw article. Thank you, Justin. Um, I 
imagine that all of this is being proposed by the planning board. They're the ones who are requesting this as a sponsor for these articles. Is that accurate? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Jim, do you have any questions related to the opening of the warrant and the removing of the two articles as requested by the planning board? I do not. Uh, Justin, anything else that we should know before moving into a motion? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Uh, as I said, the, the amended warrant is um, the, is in the, the packet. Um, I, I just, I don't know if I was clear as well, but uh, there is an edit to the MBTA Community Zoning Bylaw. It incorporates the inclusionary bylaw for the particular, uh, the MBTA Community uh, Zoning Bylaw. Thank you for the clarification. So to be clear, the amendment to the inclusionary bylaw is only pertaining to the zones designated for the MBTA um, overlays. Um, this is not affecting the rest of the town at Correct. this time. Correct. Correct. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. With that clarification, Jim, I would take a motion to reopen the warrant and consider and amend as outlined by Justin. So moved. We have a motion on the floor. We'll have to do a roll call vote for the Zoom meeting. So in that case, we will do our roll call votes. Um, the motion has been seconded. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do a roll call vote. Like I said, Kevin Calcutt, aye. Jim Lehan, aye. And the motion passes unanimously. Thank you. I have am I have amazingly, I, I am online now. I don't, there we go. I am online now. So Jim, just because you're in two places doesn't mean you get two votes, just so you know. <laughs> uh, good, good, good thoughts. Yes, yeah, so my grandkids went out of town. I got handicapped here tonight, <laughs> Mr. Chair. I would just have one other procedural vote uh, related to that. I would ask that the board execute the warrant as amended, uh, as well, just for procedure. So we Would just voted to reopen the warrant. We voted to amend the articles as listed. You'd like us to take another motion to do what again? I'm sorry. Just to execute the warrant as amended. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't we take a vote just to close the warrant, having already amended the warrant? You can do either one of them. I like executing the warrant. It doesn't. Either one of them gets the job done. I was just okay. using execute. So it's got it. Um, I see. Yeah. Because we reopened and amended, we didn't close again. Understood. All right. So in that case, I would take a motion to close the warrant for the May annual town meeting. I move to close. I move to close the warrant. I will second that motion. Do we have any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do another roll call vote. Kevin Calcutt, aye. Jim Lehan, aye. All right. And the warrant is now closed once again. Um, Justin, we have to do one more for referring zoning articles. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, the planning board now has to have a hearing uh, for the amended article. So this is just another procedural uh, vote to refer it back to the planning board for that hearing. Very good. Um, I have no questions on this item. Jim, do you have any questions for Justin? I have none. Nope. In that case, I would take a motion to refer the zoning articles back to the planning board so that they can execute their public hearing. I move to move the warrant article back to the planning board so that they can execute the public warrant. I will second that motion. Do we have any further discussion? Hearing none, we will do one last, well, not last, but we'll do another roll call vote. Kevin Calcutt, aye. Jim Lee had aye. And that is unanimous as well. Justin, do we have anything for us to discuss this evening? Those are the only uh, matters. Very good. Jim, anything else for tonight? I'll take that as a no. In that case, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do one more roll call vote. Kevin Calcutt, aye. Jim Lee, aye. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>